orthopedic clinic is recognized worldwide as a leader in high quality personalized care, a true destination medical practice treating over 140,000 patients every year. In the world of orthopedics, the name Jewett is revered. You can always speak it with pride and most people will say, oh yes, I've heard of the name or is that the same doctor who did the Jewett nail or the Jewett brace? And you say, yes, that's the, our founding father. Eugene Jewett was born in Fredonia, New York on April 11, 1900. He studied chemistry and engineering at Cornell before graduating from Harvard Medical School. After struggling with arthritis, Dr. Jewett and his wife Ruth moved to Florida and opened an Orlando office in 1936. Dr. Gene, as he was called, didn't wait for patients to come to him. He grabbed his medical bag, put a portable x-ray machine in the trunk of his car, and traveled the state treating those who couldn't travel. When elderly patients suffered fractured backs, Dr. Jewett feared they wouldn't survive being bedridden for months in a heavy plaster body cast, the standard treatment of the day. So, he invented and patented an alternative. He brought out a lightweight metal brace that did the same thing and was able to free people of the burden of having to wear these terrible, heavy, hot, miserable, stinky casts. The Jewett Hyperextension Back Brace, still widely used today, revolutionized the treatment of spine fractures worldwide, allowing patients to be up and about in just a few days. When World War II broke out, Dr. Jewett joined the U.S. Navy, stationed aboard the hospital ship USS Samaritan. As chief surgeon, he operated on hundreds of servicemen, receiving four battle stars for his bravery. Dr. Jewett returned home after the war and perfected yet another invention that would revolutionize orthopedic care, the Jewett hip nail. The majority of your patients prior to that, if they broke a hip, their life was over or painful for the remainder of their lives. Dr. Jewett changed all that and gave a hip nail that for 40 years reigned supreme as the most important orthopedic invention in hip surgery that we had. Dr. Jewett proved to be a business innovator as well. In 1950, he began hiring other physicians, creating a rare group practice. That same year, he demonstrated his dedication to the community. He and Dr. Ruth Jewett gave $150,000 to start Winter Park Hospital in 1950. That would have been at least a million dollars today. His desire to help those in need knew no geographic boundaries. Dr. Jewett gave all of the proceeds from his back brace away to start the Jewett Foundation, a nonprofit organization that trained doctors worldwide while providing free care to those in need. We felt a part of the world because of him. Uh, they went to Honduras and, and did surgery there, and you saw the extension of, of their skills. That was fun. In Jordan, Dr. Jewett operated on Bedouins and was granted an audience with King Hussein. The Jewetts fell in love with Colombia, making 16 trips to South America. When they learned that Colombian doctors desired orthopedic training, but none was available, the Jewett Foundation provided the means. He is known as the father of orthopedics in Colombia and is, is really venerated there. In the decades that followed, the practice expanded as accomplished orthopedic surgeons moved to Orlando, anxious to work with the legend and to take advantage of the opportunity he provided, the time, freedom, and resources to innovate. He was the sort of fellow that when you were around him, you felt like you were, you were really in the presence of someone special, though he never put on airs. He, he was not, not condescending in any, any way. Dr. Eugene Jewett died in 1987 at the age of 86, leaving behind a dynamic practice, an incredible work ethic, and a desire to innovate. Those who knew Dr. Jewett best remember a man whose motivation was neither money nor fame. He simply wanted to make life better for his patients. He died uh, a pauper, essentially, because he had given all of his money away except his boat, all of his possessions away except his boat, and he was living on the proceeds of a 6% annuity for having given his house to the University of Florida. And he and Dr. Ruth Jewett both at their death gave their bodies 
to the University of Florida Medical, Student, Medical School as cadavers. When you think of the countless numbers of people whose lives he touched through his inventions, then there is no way to understate the importance of Gene Jewett to this country, let alone the field of orthopedics.